The life of Joan has been a sorrowful misery ever since she was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. Her only source of happiness was the loving tender care provided by her little daughter Emily. Little did she know that a rare psychiatric disorder called Capgra delusions, which is a type of delusional misidentification syndromes, was going to take her only happiness away from her. Her brain slowly deceived her to believe that Emily was abducted and replaced by an identical imposter who intends to do her harm. These symptoms are typical of the Capgra syndrome, where the patient believes that a parent, child, sibling, or a friend has been replaced by an identical imposter. In some extreme cases, patients may believe that the time is warped or altered. The condition is named after the French psychiatrist Jean-Marie Joseph Capgras, who was the first to describe this condition with the help of his intern jean Rebou Lachaud. Although our main character Joan was suffering from multiple sclerosis, Capgras syndrome is most commonly seen in patients with paranoid schizophrenia. Other notable associations are Lewy body dementia, brain tumors, brain injury, and other neurodegenerative diseases. All right, now let's get into the fascinating neurological basis of Capgras syndrome. When you see a face, I send signals to the occipital cortex and then to the fusiform area of the brain, which is responsible for the recognition of the faces. And then it sends signals to the amygdala. Amygdala releases chemicals that lead to the development of emotions. The love, care, and all the feelings associated with your known ones are experienced due to these released chemicals. Unfortunately, in people with Capgras syndrome, there is a lack of connection between the fusiform area and the amygdala. They can recognize faces, but without the associated emotional response. The love, care, and every emotion they have about this person are not felt. It's like they know the face but not the person. This gives rise to the delusion that some imposter has stolen the body of their friend. Okay, time to ask a difficult question. I know you like brain teasers. In Capgras delusion, the disconnection between the facial recognition area and the amygdala occurs for the faces of siblings, children, or relatives. What would happen if you failed to develop emotions for your own face? Take a minute and come up with an answer. To know the answer, watch my video about Cotard syndrome, a similar psychiatric condition. Let's get back to the Capgras syndrome. The diagnosis requires a full psychiatric evaluation by a psychiatrist. Antipsychotics are given for symptomatic relief. But the real cure is in treating the cause. The doctors will do brain imaging to exclude any brain injury. If found one, then the correction of the cause may reverse the delusion. In the past, Capgras delusion was considered purely a psychiatric disorder and purely a female disorder. But today, it's understood as a shared symptom of neurological and psychiatric disorders without a gender basis. I'll see you soon with another episode of Interesting Medical Cases.